Welcome to part one of a three-part series all week long, Neural Week. So we're kicking off today with the Red Dragon PVD Blue Robert Thornton darts. Here we go, the video begins right now. What's up guys, Worldwide here. So yeah, like I just said, welcome to part one of Neural Week. So we got Neuraled videos for you today, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Big grand finale on Friday. You don't want to miss that one. So there's a bit of a running joke here in this channel that supposedly I don't like Neural darts. Well, there's a specific reason why. Now I'm going to explain more about that in the throwing part of the video. Right when that opens up, I'm going to explain what the big deal is about with me and neural darts. So uh, it's not, I, I'm guessing it's not what a lot of you guys are thinking. So interesting backstory with these darts. So yeah, in today's video, we're gonna be taking a close up look at the Red Dragon PVD Blue Robert Thornton darts. Now the story behind these, friend of mine scored these in those red random Red Dragon four packs. I think he spent about $30 on a four pack and lo and behold, inside was a set of these, so really nice score there. I traded him a set of, I think, a set of Dynasty darts for these things. So uh, yeah, keep this in mind while you're watching the rest of this video. This set of darts cost, or cost him, less than eight US dollars. Can you imagine that, less than eight bucks. So what I did here was, I'll put a picture up, I put on the Red Dragon Robert Thornton flights in the Red Dragon V, what are these, VRX stems which I happened to get at Dart Shopper just to make them a nice looking complete set. And uh, man, I gotta admit, it's a great looking set of darts. So um, I won't keep you waiting any longer. Obviously there's no box. So we're just gonna jump right into the stats and dimensions. After that, I'll talk about the grip a little bit and then straight to the board, I'll throw these things for a bit. And like I said, I'm gonna tell you what the whole deal is with me and Neural Darts. So should be a fun one guys. And again, grand finale on Friday. You don't wanna miss that one. Here we go. Okay, jumping straight into the stats and dimensions here, but first, I mean, come on guys, that's not a bad looking dart, right? In my opinion, probably one of the better looking knurled barrels I've ever seen. This blue, it really pops. It's, I don't know, it's a great looking barrel in my opinion. But starting up front, we even got some more knurl there. The Red Dragon 32 millimeter knurled points of which 28 millimeters is sticking out of the front of the barrels. Now the barrels themselves, a super high density, 95% tungsten on these things. The barrel length coming in at 51 millimeters even, and the barrel width with these being a straight barrel dart, 6.5 millimeters wide. Now, I unscrewed the stem and checked out how deeply these were drilled out, and they were drilled out 16 millimeters deep. Now the match weighting on these things, pretty good. They were advertised at 24 grams. First barrel, 24.08. Second barrel, 24.13. And the third barrel, 24.14. So you know what, as long as the barrels are within one-tenth of a gram. I have absolutely no issue with it. So yeah, decent match waiting here. But what do you say? We go into the next clip and I'm going to talk about the grip on these PVD blue coated knurled barrels. Okay, there you go. Nice close-up look at the knurl there. And you know what? Honestly, I find knurled grip to be kind of slippery for the most part. However, not the case with these darts at all. They've actually got quite a bit of bite to them, a surprising amount of bite. I'm going to go ahead and give these a grip level 3.1 on a scale of 1 to 5. But yeah, they are they are that grippy. And you know what? This um, The PVD blue coating, I don't think it has any effect on the grip. I think that's just purely for aesthetic reasons, for looks. But I mean, yeah, that's a decent looking dart there. I've got no issues with how this thing looks. But yeah, definitely quite a bit of bite to it. Now, I totally intended to throw them just like you see them. Although, you know what? I'm gonna switch things up because, check this out. We're gonna go with the Condor Axe Neon, yellow neon. Look at that, come on. That's a good looking setup there. So this is how we're gonna throw them. And I'm kinda interested to see how well the knurled points hold into the board and how well I can throw a knurled grip dart. So um, yeah, let's get these things on the board. See how they fly. Okay, here we go. Five throws, five turns with the Red Dragon 
PVD Blue Robert Thornton darts. So, you guys are probably wondering, or probably a lot of you guys watching this video right now think that I absolutely despise knurled darts. That's not necessarily true because there's a couple sets I actually like. I reviewed that set of the 180 darts. I forget the name, Revenge maybe? Yeah, I, I reviewed that set. I love those darts. And the best part is they're like $40 on Amazon USA. So there's some nice knurled darts out there. But the main reason why I dislike knurled darts, it's more of the American darting culture surrounding knurled darts. Uh, honest to God, and I am not exaggerating here, you walk into any, any American dart shop and you're just gonna see wall-to-wall -wall knurled darts. Ooh, hold on a second. Ah, mm, would have been a good start. Well, I, actually, that is a good start. So yeah, you walk into any, I'm talking any American dart shop, you're gonna see wall-to-wall -wall knurled darts. They're all gonna have aluminum stems. They're all gonna come in cases similar to this, you know, like the, the fold open cases. Now here's the worst part. They're gonna cost 80, 90, $100. You're gonna pay like $120 for a set of the most basic knurled darts you've ever seen that look just like that. Honest to God, be, be honest with me. Would you spend $120 on that set of darts. I mean, it's for as long as I play darts, I will never understand it. So yeah, that's kind of why I dislike knurled darts. And it seems like there are so many dart players here in the United States that will just shell out that sort of money. They'll think nothing of spending 120, 30, $140 on a set of knurled darts. I just, I don't get it. I really, I really don't. So that's my knurled story. But these darts, you know what? They've been throwing really well. I'm actually almost reconsidering the grip level. The more that I use them, the less grippy they seem. But I mean, they're, they're throwing nice. I've got, ah, third dart saver. I've got a front grip going. So yeah, my pointer finger, um, pointer finger and thumb are pretty much on the second and third knurl on the front of the barrel. And you know what, this barrel is gonna work well for, for most players, front grip, middle, or even on the back end, doesn't matter. So straight barrel dart, the grip level is the same for the entire length of the barrel. Yeah, I mean, it throws surprisingly nice. I mean, <laughs> really nice. And I'm letting the weight do the work. Just kind of let the weight and the flight get them to the board. Did that last one? Oh no, I thought that last one deflected in it did not but yeah I have no issues with this set of darts at all although yeah, I mean even though I practically paid nothing for them I think they're kind of expensive right the, the these are what I don't know sixty dollars maybe if you can find them 60 70 it depends on where you buy them as well but kind of on the expensive side but then again it is 95 percent tungsten pro player name attached to it cover shot Ah, third dart saver. And yeah, these points stick really well into the board. Oh, and, oops, I wasn't, I wasn't able to use the Trident 180 nose cones. Forget about trying to get the Trident 180s over this knurled point. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. So honestly, you'd probably wanna repoint these things. No damage to the board though, so that's a good thing. But yeah, last turn, I think that was four, right? This would be the fifth. Man, yeah. No issues with how they throw. Oh, first start was good. So, uh, yeah, there it is. Five turns. Quite like these. Actually, I, I like them a lot more than I thought I would. So, uh, yeah, so far so good. But we've got a couple more clips. You, you know what's coming. Beautiful looking 180 with the, uh, well, the first and the third dart anyway. And then I've got a new camera angle on the close up, which I thought was pretty good. So, yeah, enjoy these last two clips. Here we go.
Darts one and three. Wow, those are close, right? Ooh, those points do stick in well. So hey, there it is, guys. That's just about a review. Surprisingly, I quite like these darts. So I guess now comes the time of the video where I give these a recommendation for your typical recreational dart player. And believe it or not, I think these are gonna get a pretty good score. The only thing really dinging them or bringing the score down a little bit is just the price. However, I mean, as you know, these things cost less than whatever they were, eight or less than $10 here for, uh, for me anyway. So, but if you can get these at a good deal, by all means, go for it. It's a great grip, front, middle, rear gripper, it doesn't matter, straight barrel, 95% tungsten. Honestly, not a bad dart, and as a result, I'm going to give these a recommendation. They're going to work well for the vast majority of players, that is, if you can stand neural, but these get a score 8.1 out of 10. Yeah, they are that nice. So uh, yeah, there it is, guys. I think that's a fair review, decent set of darts. And in person, man, these things are, it's a great looking set of darts in person. I think they look better than I ever expected a knurled dart to look. So um, that's it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. But even more important to me, comment down below. And we still have the close-up of that 180 I just hit. And yeah, the first and the third dart there, man, those points were touching in the board. Nice 180. So hopefully that close-up looks good. I got a new camera angle. Anyway, guys, until next time, we will see you. We'll see you Wednesday, part two. Later.